Hi guys, welcome to another video. So today is Wednesday and I'm heading out right now to go pick something up off market off Facebook marketplace. Um, it's like a little nightstand thing for Madison. Hopefully it'll work out. I'm gonna be painting it and changing it up a little bit, but it's only $10. So yeah, I'm gonna go get that. See how it is. It looks nice in the picture, but we'll see how it is when I actually get it. Okay, so this is what I got. It's pretty nice. It's heavy. It's wood on the top. I told her we could paint this white and we could also paint the drawer white. And then if we wanted to, we could probably spray paint the wicker too. I've seen some people do that. It's just a little bit coming apart right here, but I guess I could probably just like glue that somehow. But yeah, not bad for $10. Henry Link, it says in there. Who's that? I don't know. But, yeah. Okay, so we're back home now. We had lunch. Kids are in for quiet time and nap time. And I think right now I'm going to work on the bathroom, that hole that I was patching up, like, the vlog before this or something. I still haven't finished that, so I'm going to try to work on that for a little bit. Maybe I can get that done pretty much um i can't paint or anything do i need to paint i'll probably need to paint a little bit yeah before i put the trim up but i can't paint anything right now because i don't have any paint brushes so yeah i'm just gonna work on the wall for a little bit and then i think i want to try to get our school stuff ready I'm probably going to be starting school soon ish um maybe another week or so but yeah, I want to go through all the stuff that we have and last year's stuff and get rid of what we don't need and kind of like organize a little bit. So maybe I'll do that next. Okay, so I am working on the hole still. Um, I realized that I won't be able to finish it today because after I put the mud stuff on to fix the hole, I have to wait for that to dry and I have to sand it and then hopefully that'll be good. I know some people will go over it again with like more mud, but it's just a tiny little hole and it's in the bottom corner of the bathroom, like behind the toilet kind of. So nobody's gonna really see it. And I'm gonna put a piece of trim on top of it. So I think once I sand it, I'll be able to paint that spot and then that will be finally done. <laughs> but anyway, and then I like cleaned almost the entire bathroom. I did like the tile in the shower. I just got, there was some like mold, mildew, whatever on the grout. So I cleaned that and I got the tub cleaned and the sink cleaned and the floor cleaned. And I just wanna say, if I ever put down a bathroom floor again and I have little children who are dirty <laughs> i won't do a white floor because that floor is driving me crazy like every time the kids come in from playing if they have any bit of dirt on their shoes or their hands or anything like gets on the floor it leaves a stain i can see it the floor is called like stain master but it i mean it is like the master it's the master of stains because stuff stains like really easily it will get like dirt on the floor and i'll wipe it up and there's a stain there and i'll have to go get like the magic eraser to get it to come up um and i'm sweating because i was just working hard cleaning the bathroom but yeah if i ever do another bathroom floor i'll definitely do like darker tile i think just so that i don't have to see every tiny little bit of dirt that gets on the floor although it's nice to know like if your bathroom floor is dirty i guess i just don't want to constantly my nose is itchy sorry itchy nose um I just don't like to see it all the time. Like I clean the bathroom floor like regularly. I just don't want it to look dirty. <laughs> like every time I go in there, um, every time the kids finish playing or something, it looks dirty, but looks good right now. So here is, I think pretty much all of our school stuff, um, except for Madison's math. That's in the other room, I'm not gonna bring that out here because she doesn't do math out here. Um, but I got them two new binders and these were $4 each for a basic like Walmart brand binder. And I actually thought I got like one inch binders but these are actually one and a half. Oh well, those will be fine. Um, but before I go through any of this stuff or try to figure out where to put it, have to go through this cart and take out everything that we're not going to be using. It's just like I tried to have them do like a nature journal. <laughs> we tried this, did not, it did not take off. We just got February. <laughs> we did one month, we did February, February, and that's it. 
I'll keep this. Maybe we'll complete more of it. Uh, maybe we'll do some more. Madison's language arts binder from last year. We did the good and the beautiful. We didn't finish it though and it's the same thing that happened last time we tried the good and the beautiful. We didn't finish it. How far did we get? We got about, I don't know, a little more than halfway through I think. We didn't finish this. We weren't too crazy about the good and the beautiful. I, I liked it at first but then I was kind of starting to see her opinion on it and like why she felt like that. It's just very like drawn out kind of and she wants something that's more like to the point i guess for kids maybe it's better for kids who like are really gung-ho about school and they like doing their school and stuff and they find it fun but she just wants to get her work done so get her work done and, and be done so anyway all that's gonna go to the garbage and probably keep this binder in case we need it for something This is Story of the World. We were using this for history. We did the first one, and then this is the second one. And we did not get very far through the second one. Um, it's just kind of boring. <laughs> it's not my favorite history. Some people really like it. Um, if your kids are really interested, or your, your kids like being read to, and they like listening to stories and stuff like that, they might like this. But my kids don't really like being read to too much, except for Paisley. And, I don't know, there's not very many pictures in here to show them. It's just a lot of words, and when there is a picture, it's like black and white, so... I don't know. We just weren't that into this either, but... I'll probably keep it just in case we want to use it in some way down the line. Down the road. <laughs> stuff I have like my cart down here but I don't think our books are going to like I think it's gonna be too heavy I don't think this cart is meant to like I'm gonna, I guess it might be fine we just have a lot of books this year <laughs> like Chase is doing school and Madison so for Chase for language arts he has this learning language arts through literature the red book, and I think this is second grade. It's supposed to be for second grade, so it's a whole set. Um, I'm not gonna open it because it's hard to get it back in there, but I got this used on eBay. Well, not even used, I got it. It was like an open box, and the box was like a little bit damaged, but the books and everything are fine, and they've never been used, so. Got that for a good price. What did I pay for that? I don't even know. 50, I think, and originally it's like, like regular price, it's like 70. So I got that for Chase, and then for Chase for Science, he's going to do um, Master Books, Let's Talk Science, Adventures in Creation. What are you doing? You want to make a mess, don't you? We've never used Master Books before for anything, so I'm excited to use this. It's just like a big workbook pretty much, but it looks like something I can handle. <laughs> um, what else do I have? And then for history for both of them, we're going to do this together. Um, we got the Tuttle Twins uh, history. They're like storybooks. They're not really technically a curriculum, but they do have like a, a PDF thing that we got. It's free when you get like the two of them together, I think. 
and that's what we're going to be using for the curriculum part of this. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, two storybooks. One's from 1215 to 1776, and one's from 1776 to 1791. So yeah, I'm excited to try those two. I've heard really good things about them. Um, and then for his math, we're using... Greg actually bought this like last year or something because he saw this as a good deal on eBay too, used. Um, but this is, what is this called? Oh, Life of Fred. Duh, it says it right in there. It's so tiny in there, I didn't even see it. But it's called Life of Fred Math. And I don't know what grade this is for. What, what level we have here? Elementary series. We got dogs, apples, butterflies, and cats. And it's kind of like math in like a story, a story format kind of, I don't know. And then for Madison, we've got the same history. That we're, do we're doing together. Her language art, she's gonna do this. We actually tried this once before and she said she didn't like it like the first day and I was like, oh, okay, well, we'll find something else. And then I realized as time went on that she says she doesn't like everything. So I don't know, I think this will be good. I think she'll like it better than The Good and the Beautiful because this seems very to the point. It's, well, I'm not, I'm not here to do a, a review or anything, but it's very just like, Here's what you do, read this, and then answer these questions and go through, and then it's divided up into days and everything, so I think it will be nice and to the point for her. And then for science, we also had this, and we started it, and we finished, because I was trying to use it with Chase, and I think it's just like a little bit much to do with Chase, and also this, uh, this is a notebook in general. It's, where is this? Apologia. Exploring creation with chemistry and physics and it comes with like the notebooking journal. Are you okay? Are you singing over there? She's singing in the background. This is a notebooking journal and this is where they do all their work and they write, they take notes and there's like spots for them to write down their experiments they did and um, copy work like Bible verse copy work. Um, I don't think we're going to use this because I think this was kind of tripping us, tripping us up when we started this. So here, you want to see stickers? Here, see some stickers. So what we're going to try instead is notebooking. And that's why I got these binders for them because I'm going to have Chase do one for history. Madison's going to do one for history. And Madison's also going to do one for science. Um, you are making this difficult for me. But I'm just going to have... Here, come here. Come here. Come sit with me. Come sit with me. But basically she's just gonna fill out like her own, like take notes or whatever in here and she can like copy pictures and stuff from, not this, <laughs> from this. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna give her ideas of what can go in her science notebook. Um, maybe print out some like blank notebook, notebooking pages for her. We haven't done notebooking before, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. But yeah, where am I going to put all this stuff, Paisley, huh? Where am I going to put all this? It's not all going to fit in these little bins. I have these bins with their names on them. I got these like a while ago, like our first or second year homeschooling. And it's not all going to fit in here. rethinking these binders main reason is because they don't fit in this thing like they're so wide they take up so much room so I kind of just want everything to fit in here I just want it to be like I don't know I just want everything in one spot and fit it all in here so I'm thinking what else I can use for, for the notebooking journals like I could just use regular notebooks but I kind of like being able to put paper in like put papers in and take papers out and like rearrange the order of stuff. So that's why I wanted to use binders, but maybe I can find like those like smaller, like one inch binders, but like those flexible ones, you know what I mean? Like the Walmart didn't really have a good selection of binders. Like they hardly had anything. 
So I think I'm gonna return these and maybe check somewhere else, Target or Staples or somewhere, see if I could find something else or maybe we'll just use notebooks. I don't know. So here is our cart. Um, I got, you know, Chase is here, Madison's here. Um, I added Chase's math book, the one we're gonna start with. We start with apples, and then I have his little uh, reader that goes with his language arts. That's the first one that we're gonna use. Um, so I just kept the one in here that we need, and then our history book is in the middle. I realized I didn't need both of them because we're only gonna start with the one. Um, and then to go with history, this is like, I printed out some of the stuff from the PDF that I got. I didn't print out everything. But I printed out like the first few weeks that I wanna use all on here. Um, and we'll figure out how we're gonna go about that. Um, and then the Madison stuff, she's got her language arts and I thought that this was more independent and I looked at it and it's kind of not. Um, it does ask for the teacher, like listen to your teacher read something. But yeah, it does say stuff like listen to your teacher read this passage and I guess she could read it herself. Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I might start off doing it with her and then if I feel like she can take it over and just kind of go through it on her own. We'll do that. Um, and then I have science and then sharing the history. So the only thing I in here is her math because she doesn't do that in the kitchen. Um, and then I just have this. I kept our little marker board in here because I use that sometimes. Um, but that's pretty much it. Our cart is looking kind of empty, but it usually fills up through the year with different things that we use. Probably throw some stuff in there for Paisley to keep her occupied. Right now she's actually coloring. Are you coloring? Yeah, she just recently started liking coloring because we colored at the library one time. Not on the table, on the paper. <laughs> so I got some crayons for her and I don't know, we'll see how all this goes. I usually, I, I was actually, I wrote out a schedule trying to figure out like how our days are going to go and I had it written out assuming that Madison was going to be able to do the language arts all by herself but now that she might not be, now I have to figure out. I have to write something else. <laughs> um, but I think that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have any questions on anything about the homeschooling or anything like that, um, leave it down in the comments. And yeah, I'll see you guys all for my next video. Bye.